Do chassis keep magnetic fields inside? This question comes from Konotsky uh, in Tampa, Florida. He writes, hey Paul, I assume it's a, a male, uh, does stacking audio components cause some sort of interference and possibly raise the noise floor? My tube preamp sits on top of my power amp and my DAC sits next to it. I know some manufacturers use toroidal transformers to keep interference low, but some use standard transformers. And I'm wondering if electromagnetic interference goes past the metal casing, causing interference to other devices next to it. Okay, well, that's a good question. And well, I, I, one of the reasons I brought us here, this is sort of the area, see all these carts? So our, our crew lines these carts up and they uh, stack them full of uh, orders. So if we have an order for 20 of these or 30 of those, th these carts are built. And, and these particular carts have chassis. So this is some kind of perfect wave, I don't know, um, probably a DAC. And you can see that's where the touch screen goes. And you can see on, on the inside and then the outside. Okay, so these are, um, all fabricated around here and painted and all that kind of good stuff. So there's rows and rows of chassis. So the question is, how well do they act as a magnetic shield? And the answer is, as always, not all that straightforward. Generally, not good at all. So steel is better than aluminum because steel is ferrous meaning it, it, it can interact with a magnetic field where aluminum, of course, can't. So uh, when we build our chassis, um, for a whole bunch of different reasons, our bottom plates are usually made out of steel. And that's where the transformer sits. The sides, because they're extruded, are made of aluminum. In our case, interestingly enough, just out of curiosity, you can see these corners uh, are made of zinc because they're cast and then we paint the whole thing so it's seamless right so everything gets painted so it looks like a seamless piece of metal but it's hardly that so aluminum has zero effect on a magnetic field same with the zinc nothing so a lot of it depends on what your chassis is made out of ours is a combination of steel zinc and aluminum and we use pretty much exclusively toroidal transformers. Now, toroids are those donut transformers. They look, just look like a big donut with, with winds around them. They have very tight magnetic fields, and that's one of the reasons we use them, and they sound better. And we can have thicker wire, lower impedance, than we can with a giant EI stack transformer, which you find or used to find a lot of. And those have much broader fields. Toroids have tighter fields, but still, those fields get out. And, and you, can, you can take a very sensitive piece of, elect, uh, of, of measuring equipment and wave it around one of our products or anybody's product, and you'll see a magnetic field coming out. Steel does reduce it. You can wrap steel around a transformer and try and lower it. We do something similar to that in our phono preamplifiers because they are so sensitive to, to hum. We have a sort of a, a shield that we, we build, kind of a, uh, a metal shield. The only metal out there that I am aware of that is actually really effective on magnetic fields is called mu metal. I know, sounds like an obtanium, right? <laughs> but it's, it's not. Uh, mu metal, very expensive, actually does block magnetic fields. And it's sometimes you find like um, one of the best transformer manufacturers in the world is called Jensen Transformers and they're out of Los Angeles. We use Jensen's sometimes in some of our equipment. Uh, we've experimented with Jensen Transformers in our products. Uh, my buddy Jeff Rowland down in Colorado Springs from R Roland Audio, he uses Jensen Transformers exclusively for his inputs. Maybe his outputs too, I don't know. Uh, and he and I go 
on and on about that. He, he, you know, there are advantages to using high quality audio transformers and disadvantages as well. But his transformers, the, uh, the Jensen's, are all wrapped in mu metal shields so that magnetic fields don't get in and interfere with them, and it's very effective. But, I mean, it, it, it's the same price as unobtainium, very expensive. So manufacturers don't use mu metal shields over their products, they just use careful engineering. You try and keep it away because it, it goes down with the square of the distance. So um, all you have to do in, inside of here is have the transformer, you know, like our transformer kind of mounts right there, uh, and one of them comes up on a board, and the distance between here and here is enough to take care of almost all of the transformer's radiation because it is such a tight field. So generally, it's not something we worry about, but it is dependent and specific from a product-to-product -product basis and something you should watch out for if you can. Uh, I wouldn't lose any sleep over it because your system probably sounded really good. All right. Thank you for the question. I hope I gave you a little bit of insight. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.